Hi everyone, welcome to the start of this Let's Play series on how to win a free divine on horse. I created an account on the Canadian server here because I wanted to show it from the perspective of a new account. I have 20 days right now, so I haven't created an EC yet. I've been waiting on that. I can also show tips and tricks that I use on my international account because all the divines I have on here, like I have a farm of probably... 20 something divines and I didn't pay for any of these okay I just got all these divines from saving up pass horses saving up passes from horses that I can manage to sell for passes not that that happens very often but I just wanted to show players that you don't need to spend money to win a divine on the game okay it's it's great if you can spend money because it does support the game development um, I've just, I've never been able to buy passes on the game, so I just had to learn ways on how to save up passes and how to win divines for free and just in game methods, okay? This, no cheats or anything are involved because if you cheat the game, that's just going to cheat yourself and it's going to cheat the developers and, you know, nobody wins by cheating, okay? So this will be completely free methods and I'll do a whole let's play of this on my Canadian account. So here we go. I, like I said before, I've got 20 days right now. All that I've been doing, I don't even have very many horses, actually. I think I've just got, <laughs> I've got five horses. The drum horse I won from the first maze, which I haven't played on the server in a few days, so I'm probably only midway through the second maze. I've only bought one horse in the auctions, otherwise I've avoided the auctions buying any new horses for the most part, just because I, I don't like sitting and waiting in the auctions. So what I've been doing daily, I just work the horses that I have and I've been doing all the daily divines, which includes stroking five Xanthos. And because I've been doing that every day that I'm on here, I think I've won, I've won three Horn of Plenties, which I, for, for out of 20 days playing though, that's, that's not too bad. And from the plants promo, I managed to get a Hestia's gift. So when I'm able to access the direct sales, I'll buy a unicorn mare and then I'll go ahead and I'll blup that and I'll put a Hestia's gift on it and I'll see if I can sell the sell that for some passes. And pretty much all this stuff I've just I think I've won all this from the plants promo. I don't know that I've won a any black market items out of the maze because I didn't get very many good prizes out of that so far. And it looks like I did win a diamond from either Topaz or the Safe Haven because I have been congratulating Topaz every day that I'm on here and I've been defrosting Frost as well which is probably how I got that Hypnos Blanket. So what I want to do today is go ahead and I'm going to create my Equestrian Center and I'm going to be <laughs> super original and I'm totally just going to name my Equestrian Center the same that I have it on International Horse. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, how about mountain? Because I originally had a forest DC on the, on my international account, but I kind of like having, I like having mountain better because I use iron a lot more um, in crafting. I think if you're, if you're wanting to improve your EC and actually build up a good EC, a forest EC is a very good direction to go in because you're going to need a lot of boxes like 100 boxes to get your capacity and prestige up so you know you're going to be using a lot of wood for that so a forest location isn't a bad way to go but I'm going to go ahead and choose mountain for this I also have western on my international game I think we're going to switch it up and choose classical and we're just getting started so that's my EC, Mountain, Classical, yeah, I think we like that. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so we're going to create my EC. Okay, so that's all good to go. I'm going to go ahead and make my moves in the maze so we can progress on that a bit. I don't have the maps up right now. I'm feeling lazy. I don't really even want to go look at the maps, but this is a pretty simple maze, so... 
Let's see what we can do. I when I bought I bought this horse specifically for the maze. Uh, I had no idea on here what the skill level was required to get plus five, and I slightly lucked out, and I at least got a plus four regeneration horse. So we're gonna get a gift. What do we get? What do we get? Ability stroke. That's awesome. But those those are not totally worthless though. I I don't personally use those anymore in my main game because I can bluff without them. But they're still quite nice for any donating to owl objectives simply because I have no use for them really. So I just when we have objectives in a promo that I don't feel like completing, I just toss them at owl and say here have at it. Okay, I have no idea where to go now. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for now because I don't really want to bring up the the maps right now. I can do that though. Uh, I know where they're at in the in the international events topic in the spoiler form. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna take care of my horses real quick. And looks like one needs boarded. So this one I've been training up. I just wanted to get some skills on him to improve my ranking a little bit. I'm not really concerned about my ranking on here. Okay, I really don't care that you're under 20%. It's not gonna hurt you. So you, we need to board you. What have you completed on rides so far? I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna put him in a mountain EC. Let's see what we have here. It's It's been a little weird trying to get used to the economy on this server because it does have different like their boxes the level of boxes they have they're much more expensive most of them like on international you can pretty much always get the uh, cheapest ec a 20e ec like all the time on this one it's a little bit harder especially if you want more uh uh better qualities in it you know like tack and fodder and everything and it looks like the sales i know that I, I haven't looked at the direct sales at all really but i know the auctions are a little bit slower like on international you have auctions ending every every few seconds pretty much like every minute there's an auction that's ending so the horse the sale sailing the sa sailing economy. We don't sail on this game. It's about horses. <laughs> the horse sales economy is pretty good, I think, on international. Um, like I said, on on this one, I haven't looked. I haven't looked at the direct sales on the Canadian server, so I haven't. I'm not quite versed on what the prices are. I now I did look at past horses on here, and there weren't very many. I think there were less than ten. Okay, the next horse is my maze horse. Okay, back on track. Uh, so I did look at some pass horses on here. And there were less than 10, I think. And they were super expensive. Oops, might help if I do over 30. Yeah, see, these are, uh, <laughs> these are quite expensive. So definitely on this one, I'm going to do what I have done for the last year or so on international. And I'm going to build up my own pass farm and just care for pass horses daily on my own. I really don't recommend buying pass horses anyway. It's, you know, it's very expensive. I mean, here I'd have to pay 375 K for a pass horse. Um, but, you know, if you breed them on your own, you know, if you bank your wheat bran, which is what I do, I have 75000 right now, um, but I've been banking my wheat bran. And because I sold a bunch of items that I won from the plants promo, I've got, I have 500000 in wheat bran and I only have 20 days of seniority on here. So, you know, I've been banking my wheat bran, but I'm going to wait and I'm going to buy a few horses from the direct sales once I get that seniority just so I have some mares that I can start breeding. Uh, the reason I haven't started breeding my mare here, let's see, that's my stallion. That's, are you a mare or a stallion? I don't even know the gender of my horses. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Uh, let's see, that was a stallion. My draft horse is also a stallion. So I only have one mare here. I don't know what that one is. Like, okay, that's a mare. So I do have two mares, but the reason why I haven't bought any mares yet is because I wanted to keep her available for competitions because in my first 10 days, I was just entering legacy into competitions and I was training her up a little bit. 
Um, if I hadn't have sold those items from the plants promo, I would have been more concerned about entering competitions and doing lessons daily. So for new accounts, for new players, that's always what I recommend to start out by earning money is entering competitions and doing lessons. Now, once my EC gets up and going, which I will have to do that, I'll have to buy some meadows because your EC is going to be your money maker. Okay. You're going to want to plant your crops. And what I do is I get a water trough to put in the meadow and then I put in the, the longhorns, which whichever cows that give you the most equus, I think it's the longhorns that give you the most leather. So I'll put those into pasture and then I'll get the leather from those and then I'll craft tack in my workshops, but we'll get there. So that was just the basis for today, just to introduce what I'm going to do with this. Like I said, the goal, we're going to get a free divine just from in-game passes, in-game methods, preferably from an event. I'm, I'm really, I, if you see any of my posts in on international, you'll know that I really am not a huge fan of the luck item promos, like open a TC, get to level seven to win a divine because I never really get past level three. So, okay. The goal is to win a divine from an event on here. And I hope that, you know, new players and old players alike will find some useful tips out of this and that, you know, anybody who can't buy passes will be able to find some ways that they can win a divine without paying any actual real world money for this. So I hope you guys will continue on this journey with me and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.